G'day, g'day, I'm Ash. Welcome back to the dev server. This is the second opening of Update Danger Zone. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still surprised that hasn't been copyrighted. Anyhow, this is, well, an update, and there are quite a number of things, including some stuff in the data mine, which I find particularly interesting. So we'll go over that in this video, as well as the new vehicles that are on the dev server. So, as per usual, everything is subject to change, and yeah, let's get stuck into it. Germany has received a JU-87R2 Libya, this time with a fantastic looking snake wrapping around the side of the aircraft. It is a premium Stuka, rank 1, battle rating 1.3, gets a 1000 kilogram bomb and a rear machine gunner. The Jaguar GR1A has a detailed cockpit and so does its French counterpart, the Jaguar A. The F5E has been spotted and this time it looks glorious. This is a rank 7 battle rating 11.0 and will fill the Chinese slash Taiwanese air tree quite well. Currently it doesn't have any armament whatsoever. All of the MiG-21s in game have been transferred to the new suspended weaponry editor system which will allow for custom loadouts. This includes the Chinese versions, the J-72 and the J-7E, so now every nation is almost in line with customizable loadouts which should be fantastic. The AH-1F has received TOW-2 missiles and the F-4E is now able to also use GPU-8 guided bombs. The Israeli F-4E has had its AIM-9Es and Ps replaced with AIM-9Ds and G's and presets for the AGM 65s have been removed and replaced with three AGM 65s instead. The total number of presets has increased to six and the GBU 15 has been replaced by the GBU 8 for a total of four guided bombs. On the Tomcat the radio correction for the internal navigation system and the trajectory of the AIM 54 missiles has been added. All of the MiG 27s and the MiG 23s get access to incendiary bombs these are quite interesting, followed by the ZB-500 firebomb, and America is not left out with the 105 finally being able to deliver napalm runs. This includes the blue 27B firebomb, and on to other leaks, particularly for helicopters, there are now the MD-500s sitting in the game files as well. Obviously we knew this from the 2.7 data mine where this was a sprung up, this is the US version, but suffice to say, Israel is getting an MD-500 tow for its helicopter tree. Whether or not this helicopter tree will be ready for the update is yet to be known, but it looks quite funky. With a battle rating of 9.0 and a rank of 5, it's armed with hydras and a bunch of other things, as you can see, listed on screen. That's not all, the AH-1G was also spotted in Israeli camouflage as well. And rejoice to those content creators, we now actually have a rewind button for our replays. It's about bloody time. Moving on to ground forces, Japan actually gets a tank this time around in the form of the M36B2. Should be an interesting addition, rank 4 battering 5.7 is exactly the same as other vehicles. Italy gets access to a premium L640 31st Regiment, which is a premium, which is very nice uh, looking. It's got this very funky looking camouflage. A rank one battle rating 1.0. It's got armed with a 20 millimeter cannon and it's got a coaxial eight millimeter machine gun. And that's not all in terms of vehicle modeled and characteristic weaponry changes. The reload time for 4.7 millimeter cannons on the following Italian vehicles has been changed. So there you go. Also, the Breda 501 now has sides open. The traverse targeting angles have been increased and thus giving you angles like this. The OF-40 MTCA makes a return and is now available for purchase with Golden Eagles and its battle rating in all game modes has been changed from 9.0 to 8.7. There are new sounds for the PG-87 and cannons for the ZSU-23. They are as follows. ZDZ-99A had a DTC-10-125 shell added, which it has about 575 to about 566 millimeters of penetration and is an APFSDS round. Ship hull durability loss has been removed, and that mechanic, along with the feedback that was provided from the last dev server, has meant that they will try to introduce it in a more interesting or realistic way in the future. Naval got two new vessels in the form of the USS Gehring and the JDS Anami DD-103. Both vessels are relatively lightly armed, but they are destroyers and both have torpedoes. The USS Gehring is rank 3, battle rating 4.7, and the JDS Anami is rank 5, battle rating 4.0. Someone posted this, a spooky demonstration of the Rim-24 on the Douglas.
aircraft down. So, surface to air missiles are now here, even though they've been modelled in the game for a long time. Get ready for naval complaints. In terms of awards, the One Shot Battle Award has been renamed to Without a Miss. It could have been called something else, but I guess One Shot is now no longer. We will, without a miss, you. It isn't all, though. There is some also changes to UI in-game, particularly with cockpits and user interface and several other different changes, which is too large to, to mention here. But you should know there are different changes and different colours and all sorts of other things going on. So, again... Dev server, subject to change. And with that, that brings this video to a close. Hopefully you've enjoyed this short, quick, retroactive look at the dev server. Thank you very much to my patrons, the subscribers, and to the channel members. If you want to get a 3% discount, stay tuned. There might be a decal in the works. Otherwise, that is all you need to know. And if I've missed anything, I'm sorry. The game changes quite a lot. And it'd be nice if they listed every single change they did on the dev notes, but they just don't for some reason we'll have to wait for the live patch will probably come out in the next couple of weeks anyway see you then bye bye